Hey everybody, welcome to a, another video review. Uh, this time this will be a uh, review and solution of the Hanayama Donut Puzzle. So I really got into these um, Hanayama puzzles, as you may imagine, and uh, I've been having some fun doing it. Uh, this is a level four, I believe. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell uh, why this is called the Donut Puzzle. Um, because, oh, sorry, get a little bit more stable here because uh, there are two donuts intertwined and so the obvious um, challenge is to uh, disentangle or separate the donut and then put it back together again. Uh, so why is it level four? Well after doing a couple of these Hanayamas I realized that um, I think the level fours are created such that you probably may have a chance of actually um, solving it, so to speak, without completely knowing what you're doing by just sort of fiddling and fidgeting and moving around. And um, a lot of the level fours I was able to actually solve just by sort of fiddling with it and then they just would come apart, for instance. Whereas I think the level fives um, and level sixes with very few exceptions, the Hanayama square being one of them, uh, you can't really do it that way. You really have to sort of think it through, uh, know what you're doing to be able to um, you know, solve it. Uh, so this one it was a very similar experience. I was just kind of fiddling with it, playing with it. I took it with me to Disneyland, so we were in line and just kind of continued to play with it and all that. I thought this was you know, a little bit better use um, of my time than just always, you know, sort of looking at the cell phone and all that stuff. And um, I think on the way back from Disneyland at night, uh, I, I just sort of messed with it and then just kind of came apart. Uh, but actually putting it back together again does require you to understand exactly what's going on. So uh, it's a very nice puzzle. I really like the um, quality of it. Uh, all of the Hanayamas are just really nicely uh, made, nice finish, uh, metal. Of course, you ruin the finish over time because you always, you know, the sweat and you're knocking it around, you know, it's in your pocket, that type of thing gets scratched. Um, that's part of, you know, the love, right? That, that's, all, that's all the love that you show the puzzle, so to speak. Uh, but they're very hardy pieces. Um, but this is really nice. So it has two donuts, um, one silver and the uh, other one um, darker gray. And um, let's take a look at it a little bit closer. So I'm about to solve it. So this is your chance if you don't want to be spoiled to stop the video because we're going to start. All right, so when you start playing with it, look at a little more detail, you're going to see that um, the donut here actually comes apart like this. Okay, and there's enough give in the circle here that you can actually um, open it like quite a bit. And if you look, you can actually see that there's these little, these little pegs on the inside. I don't know if you can appreciate that, but we're going to just keep on rotating it. Um, you should be able to see it eventually. So hopefully you can see that there's a peg, there's like a little peg right here, a metal, metal peg. There's two of them, right? You can, as you're doing it, you can actually see it moving apart. So that'll come, become important later on, but you can actually twist it apart. You can see this right there, okay? Um, but of course this is futile because as you are seeing, um, the silver donut only has that one line and it's the same line all the way through that splits it perfectly in half. And obviously you cannot open this at all. So using logic, you should know immediately that um, this, this donut um, can't be the key. You can't do anything with this uh, silver donut. So your attention then should switch um, and fo uh, shift focus naturally to the, the darker donut, the dark gray donut. As with a lot of Hanayama puzzles, it's very beautifully engraved with the name of the puzzle and the, um, the name of the company. And also with a lot of these Hanayama puzzles, the location of the engraving gives you a hint uh, and an orientation to solve it. So in this case, you can see that, again, you can split it, but here, it's not a simple um, line splitting the donut in half. It's actually segmented. So here it's opening up, and if you follow it, you can see that it splits in a very specific way, splits it in half here and also lengthwise here. Now, same thing on the other side, okay? Just like that. So 
So that immediately tells you that there is something different. This opens up here and it does this. So it tells you that there is something different. Um, and if you were to place the silver donut in a particular position along the ring, you might be able to open up actually the, the dark gray donut. And if you put it in a position just like that, and you begin to just stick your fingernail in there and just sort of fiddle with it, fiddle, 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 um, you're going to all of a sudden open it up. See, just like so. Now the exact position uh, is a little tricky. Obviously, if you put this thing anywhere where this thing is going to open, you, you know the the donut here will prevent this from opening. So that's obvious. So if you want to um, look, it's actually right around the left edge of the donut's Hanayama engraving, right around here. As you begin to exert pressure with your fingernail here, and you start rotating it right about here, it'll pop. And the reason it pops is because this area here is solid all the way around. And so by putting the silver donut across the solid chunk of the dark donut, you're not going to prevent the split from opening. So let's do that. It's going to open right here, just like this. Okay, you have almost like a, like an S, so to speak. Okay. So uh, this is half. This is half. You can see the the uh, little peg right here that's gonna go into this indentation right over here. All right? And so when you wanna put it together, you obviously just sort of twist it and then it'll close just like so. But that's not what we wanna do. We want to actually uh, open this up. Now, you may think that you're home free, like that's the, the move and you know, you're, you're done. But you know, unfortunately, that's not the case. As you can see, um, the bevel is such on the opened uh, half of the dark gray donut, the beveling is such that this white donut is still too thick to pull apart, okay? Uh, nor would you, by the way, expect to so easily remove it because why else would there be a line here? You know that you have to split this uh, donut apart anyways, right, in order to get it off. And so at this point, um, you have to figure out how to make that happen. So. When you've gotten to this part of the puzzle, um, there really isn't a whole lot of clever moves to make, right? Um, you know that this has to split in half from previous work, right? From previous messing around. Uh, and you know that if it splits in half, obviously the, the lesser thickness, the thinner donut, when it's only half to deal with, should be able to get this thing to fall off very easily. So uh, let me see if I can do that for you. So you want to sort of line it up kind of like this, okay? Because it's going to fall off. And then the trick here is that, and this is going to be easier to show once I get both of these off. You have to sort of twist it around. And as, as you're twisting, you sort of, I'm going to layer here so I don't make too big a noise. You want to twist it. As you're twisting, you have to you want to make this motion because at a certain point in the twisting of this silver donut, as you go both counterclockwise and clockwise, you're gonna be able to split the two apart. And there's a very specific area where you're gonna be able to do it. And if you split this donut apart, you're gonna be able to have the dark half just fall off as the silver one, uh, there you go, see? Now you're done, it's off. Right here, right here, and right there. So now the donuts are taken apart. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that. Now, of course, it's time to put it back together again, which, by the way, is the easier thing to do once you figure out what's going on. So, um, you know, I don't want it to seem like magic where I'm just sort of, you know, wriggling, wriggling, and all of a sudden I'm able to slide it apart. Um, how does this thing actually work? And as with a lot of these Hanayamas, uh, it becomes a lot more self-evident once you actually have it taken apart and you begin to analyze exactly what's going on. So uh, the two halves of this uh, silver donut are identical. They both have a peg here and here. Hopefully you can appreciate that. And when you put them together, um, there's a groove here, right? There's a groove on both sides. So if you put it together, it just comes together like this and it comes apart actually very easily. The trick here is that if you take the peg and the peg essentially you begin to rotate it 
the two pegs will touch right about here, and then you will not be able to rotate it. So check it out. Can you hear that? The two pegs are touching, and you can't rotate it over anymore. Similarly, if you go the other way, you will come across the hard stop the other side. So when the two pegs are next to each other, they're obviously gonna touch, and you can't twist it all the way around. Now, when it's right next to each other, you're gonna see that there's no give at all. In other words, it's pretty much a single donut. There's like maybe less than a millimeter edge, and that's not gonna cut it in order to, uh, to remove this. But when the two pegs are on polar opposites, let's just say north and south, right about here, you can see that because of the way you have the grooves inset on both sides. If the two pegs are on opposite, uh, opposite corners, north and south, you have the ability to literally slide it like this. See, just like that. And when you do that, this is all you need, maybe a little bit less than that, for this guy to just fall right off. You see that? Again, the bevel of the dark gray donut can easily come in and out of half the donut of the silver. But together, it's stuck. You see that? So when it's together, you can't remove it. But when it's splitting half, it comes right off. And the trick is you have to align the pegs on opposite ends to give you the maximum ability to slide out. Okay? So this is actually the key right here, it's these two pegs. So once you know that, it becomes trivial. You put it together first, and then you, you play with it, you know, and here you go. Now we've slid it out, right? Once you slid it out, it's trivial to just put this dark donut in here. And we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna put it in here. Please note that the half um, portion of the dark donut should be on opposite sides, okay? Like much like this. And then once you put it in, you realign the silver donut and then you twist so it doesn't come loose. And now you're secure in place again. And then you just simply close. You may take a little bit of maneuvering, but you know, you, you just follow the curve of the silver one, silver donut, and you just close it together. You wriggle, 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 and you're there. Move it around, and all of a sudden, you have the seemingly impossible intertwined donut again. So um, that was a pretty quick solution. This is, I think, rightly at level four. Um, but it's fun to do. I love the geometric design, love the smoothness, love the color contrast of the two donuts. A lot of fun, again, to, um, to take care of, uh, to figure out. You know, so definitely one of the nicer looking, uh, nicer looking puzzle, puzzles, the Hanayama uh, donuts, I believe, and uh, definitely recommend checking this out. One of my more enjoyable ones to do. So hope uh, that was helpful to you, and until next time, do take care.